All right, so still using Excel spreadsheets to capture your data? I think it's time to move on and give power to your spreadsheets. And I'll show you how. Hey, my name is Deepak and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Airtable free version to bring life to your spreadsheets. So Airtable can store information in a spreadsheets that's visually appealing and easy to use, but also powerful enough to act as a database which you can use for CRM or task management, project planning or tracking inventory. So gone are the days when you were using Excel to meet your needs. With Airtable, you can now have power of turning your spreadsheets into databases or you can also create Airtable interfaces which is like a front end for all your spreadsheets. So instead of sharing complex spreadsheets, you can share a nice looking UI and impress your boss or clients. So let's jump right into the demo. First, how do you set up your account? Go to Airtable website, Airtable.com, click sign up for free. Next page, you can either use your company email or use your existing Gmail account to sign up. I find it easier to sign up with Google, so I'll use my Gmail and next page, gives me an option to choose a Dmail account and boom, you're in. Once done, you would be assigned pro version for first 15 days by default. And after 15 days, you will be converted to free version. So basically you will have free version after 15 days. Once you allow Google account access, it would take you through the default initial wizard of setting up your first workspace and base. I'll explain you more about what these are once we go through homepage UI section in this video. But for now, let's go through the initial setup wizard and set up our first base or the spreadsheet. First, choose the team you want to use the Airtable for. For example, marketing, engineering, operations, HR. Let's say I choose marketing because I belong to marketing. Next, type coworkers email who you want to collaborate with. I'll skip this portion for now. And next page will give you options to import your existing spreadsheets from Google Sheet, Table, Excel, or CSV file. I'll also skip this for now because I'm creating one from scratch. So here I can go home without creating any workspace or bases, or I can start building using wizard. If you click start building, then it would ask you the name of the project that you're working on. Let's say, uh, I'll say YouTube video tracker, and then I can change or I can choose a theme color, then next, then continue. Next page gives option to choose what you want to track, starting with projects, teams, task, or add your own. I'll choose tasks then it would give me some default ones which I can change to the one that I want to track. Then click continue. Here I can choose the columns like status, start date, deadline, assign, or I can add my own columns and choose the type from the drop down. I'll choose text and uh, with application name. You can also pick you can only pick four and then add more later and then click continue. You can automate starting from sending a message to Slack when the rec record is updated. Or second, you can send an email with updates weekly. I'll choose create my workflow later and then click continue. Final step is what type of view you want. You have options like Kanban, calendar, gallery or grid. So very, very useful, whichever format you prefer. I'll keep it simple and choose the grid view, then click continue. It would take few seconds to create a base. And here you go. In less than few minutes, you have created your first powerful base or spreadsheet and you can keep updating it or share it or use it as a great looking interface. So let's take a look at the user interface. So once you log into the Airtable, you would see interfaces, which is in the beta on the top. It's still in the beta. And this is kind of like front end interface based on a, a table base. I'll, sh I'll cover the base in the later video, but first let's cover the basics. In the middle section, you would see workspaces 
and also on the left pane you can see the same workspaces you can create a new workspace by clicking on the plus sign or plus sign in the middle section of the workspace each of the square box represents a base if i click on this first base youtube video tracker you would see that it's a kind of like a workbook in a traditional spreadsheet format and you can create multiple tables inside a base. You can share any workspace with external users by clicking the share button and, that's, and then just typing their email IDs or you can also share the link to the space. Good thing is when you invite someone you can grant them specific roles like owner, creator, editor or commentator or to read only so going from full admin capabilities to least privileges which is read only let's first start by creating a base or a spreadsheet to create a base click on add or import you get few options starting from top you can create an empty table or you can import from existing csv file like microsoft or you can use microsoft excel or Google Sheet accounts. Or you have an option to sync your data from external apps like Jira, Google Calendar, and clicking on more list or Salesforce, etc. So there are a lot of options here. I'll choose create an empty table and re-enable the table to loom video progress. Few columns are populated by default, but you can customize by clicking on plus sign and choosing the column type for example if i need a date field or date column i can search for the date and choose the format and now i can drag and drop this date column anywhere as per my needs incredibly easy also if you want to add a row inside of your table just select a row right click to add a row above or below or you can also create a duplicate row so you can create multiple bases inside a workspace by using add and import option. And also one great thing is that you can choose the view type. On the left pane, you can select either from a calendar view or Kanban style for project tracking. Truly a flexible platform. On top, you get options like hide fields, filter if you want to get specific set of data, group allows you to group together, with a specific column like application sort in color where you can choose or change colors for this applicable columns share options allow you to generate a private link if you want to share your table with colleagues and clients and you can also set permissions from here like restricting users from copying data out of the table and you can also embed the table in your website using the embed link you can also click preview right besides the link to see how it would appear for an external viewer when he clicks on the private link. You can create customized automations. So you can create custom event based on a condition, send a weekly data to your email or post to Twitter based on the published state, or send a message to Slack or create an event based on Google Calendar. So you see, giving you great flexibility in terms of what you can do uh, or how you can automate your basis. Next up is Airtable interface, which is still in beta, but would really help you present your spreadsheet like a pro to either in your management or to your boss. So to create an interface, I did not see any option on the main screen. There is no plus sign. So what I did was I chose a workspace, for example, a YouTube tracker, and then clicked on the interface option or interface icon on the top. Just click on that, create a new interface. Give a name and description. Next page, just click new, create new, and choose a layout. So here you can choose layouts for like record overview or a nice dashboard, type layout with charts or recording summary like projects management types and last one you can choose blank as well i'll choose a dashboard type layout to impress my boss because he loves seeing dashboard which gives quick overview so next page select the base you want to use i'll choose 
YouTube videos roadmap and then click next. Here you can add a filter elements which would allow you to show data in specific format. Starting on the top, let's say I choose filter um, using which I can filter the data within my interface. Number is just the number of records you will have in the table. So I'll just select one and deselect others. Next is what type of chart you want to display, like pie chart or bar. I'll choose both. Let's see what my boss likes. And then I'll just hit next. Uh, just type the name and description which I want to give to the interface. Once created, you will see a nice looking dashboard and you can choose extra elements like text or grid or timeline. Timelines are quite common, but it's only available in the pro version. So I'll just choose the text element and I can put in some text right in front of this quarterly highlights for my YouTube videos. Also, one cool thing that I want to show you is record picker. So you can choose this from the elements and then map the elements which you want to show for this record picker. For example, I would like to show application and date published and status. So I can drag and drop them besides the record picker and whatever application I choose from the record picker, it would display the results for that video. Such a cool feature to power your spreadsheet data, right? Once done, just hit the publish button on the top and then publish changes or publish. To share the interface, click on share and type the email and you'll be able to share it externally. Uh, again, set the same kind of permissions for both the basis and the interface before you're sending the invite. So once they get the link, they can click on it and start collaborating and building a powerful UI using the Airtable interface. All right, folks, this is it. I hope you found it useful. Please do like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.